and she once every two months she'll give me hey clip here and i'll clip it happily i don't have einstein moments. i just ask questions no 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 because for <laughs> instance my, like the one thing me like my shirt just got stuck oh my god if you see something back there you have to tell me by accident um anyways i think you're bro. pretty covered though okay ahead. um so <laughs> Uh, oh, for instance, like the a couple of weeks ago, he put out a clip and it was like, what do you think is wrong with dating these days? Mm -hmm. And he said that people don't want to settle. I said that's going to make me throw up because what? What? But my what my we were saying similar things, but like no one got to see what I said. My thing was people don't decide what they want. They just take what they can get or what's accessible to them so i think that the problem with dating is that people don't decide on their like non-negotiables or like things that they want or things that they value in themselves and then also in other people and i think that that's what eventually leads to settle settling in some regard okay so i have this watch what's the right? age difference here she's five six years younger than me so i have this watch right so that's i'm just starting to wear this watch and every time I record a podcast with Mar, when she goes into a long rant, it says your stress level went up. Uh -uh. Every time. Every time. That is fire. She's literally like my sister. Like I get That's like, not only fire, it's telling. Like we get annoyed with yeah. each other so often. It's telling. But she said we we don't get annoyed with she each other, Justin. She didn't say anything bad. She said you didn't include her explanation. I had a relaxed reminder. Position. Whenever she does this it, it's amazing. Me. Yeah. It tells me to relax. It tells me to relax every time Puff she talks. Face. Look at him. He's actually getting He's, red. Oh my god! I think it was really funny. He's purple. It's fun. It's funny. He's I just purple. had to throw it out there. I had a relaxed reminder when she was tired of the talk. I'm just saying. But the, how true though? Like I think that that's actually like Very Justin's telling. like. You're you need to settle. I'm like, no. Uh, yeah, that's people not, need to learn how to settle. That's not no. People need to learn how to decide what they want and then like actually value that and and be trusting that that will come for them not eventually. Even come for no, see that's 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 or like that that it's uh, that be it's proactive. But that it's accessible. Be like proactive. it exists like you want something in my opinion because it exists i don't care if it seems crazy or whatever doesn't seem likely well, or realistic well, 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 some of y'all list are fucking fantabulous and they will never happen like some women have lists that don't, don't even match them or well reality. and that's the other or thing reality. when what you just said that don't match them mm -hmm. exactly it's like how are you going to ask for an honest man when you're not an honest woman mm -hmm. Or like, how are you going to ask for someone to be affectionate when you're not affectionate? Mm -hmm. And it's like, if you just focused on yourself and like looking at your list of the things that you would appreciate in a partner and like becoming those things yourself, then you're just going to attract that by virtue of like attracts like. At some point, but see, then the clock gets put on and women always got a, a timer running. Oh, I know. Whether that's how long they want to be single or or how long you have to make a baby or or your I clock mean, is ticking how about the fact that like um the reason that most women go back to somebody they already fuck they be trying to not to get too many bodies and they know they promiscuous revertigo like man revertigo well, that part too women they go know for a but fact that, that is they also got somebody that they supposed to fuck they're gonna be out here fucking but here's the other thing like the whole body count thing mm -hmm. please don't get me started on it because it's no, just hers like, is so women, high i'm talking about from a women's point of view women have said like i'm not kind of trying to keep adding notches on my headboard no i get it and i know it's a real thing yeah, and it it's wasn't like, like oh, I it's recycling it. yeah. like and i'm pro recycling in that way mm -hmm. to a degree but at the same time it's like why does that even matter like you are a grown-ass adult woman and it's like it's 2023 well, now. Well, see, the thing is, years don't change people's morals and what they was raised on or what they understood or planned for themselves. So at the same time that you might have an understanding that fuck what society thinks about me, you also care about what you think about yourself. Right. That might not apply to sex for you. Right, right, right. You see what well, I'm saying? I, I think it's like, um, I forget exactly who... When we were talking earlier about like what podcast do you listen to and things like that. Like, I never even got through that, but let's go. I have a tendency to like listen to certain things like on repeat basically like mm. there's this one um 
audio that like I literally listen to every single day. It's 30 minutes. Okay. And it's Earl Nightingale. It's called The Strangest Secret. And he like talks about um, like planting the seeds and like watering, like whatever you plant is what will grow type vibe. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I just feel- Manifestation is real. But he also talks about like a lot of our beliefs and like um, what we like look for in the world isn't what we look for it's what we expect we to we're told to look for or exactly. we were told exists so it's like right. when you start to like do the inner work of just like is this actually my belief mm -hmm. or is this someone else's belief that i've adopted but everybody doesn't live for themselves and, and certain people don't have the luxury of living for themselves for whatever reasons right but like there's a lot of women that i know for a fact and we even see them on these podcasts and stuff talking about it. That like they running wild and they have ran wild and they've lived or whatever have you. They'll tell you, I think my dad still think I'm a virgin. Bitch, you 32 years old. Like they are different people to their people. They're still adherent to a certain personality to their social group, family, church, whatever have you. And those things seep into other areas. There's also a gossip train that could follow you when you do certain things. Well, that's the other thing, yeah. And that's what we were saying. Like, the one episode when we were talking about body counts, like, I was just saying, like, for me personally, growing up, it was, like, sex is for marriage, sex is for making a baby. Like, it's not for All pleasure. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. you know? And Mormon. so... Basically, <laughs> like my mom's just like a cute That's little Catholic every religion, woman. But you know nowadays what I mean? it just feels Mormon. And so I'm just like, Mormon. that wasn't that was how I was raised. So for like a long time, like earlier when he said the thing about me coming, like I had a really hard time coming when I was like first having sex. Honestly, for the, like the first like almost six or seven years of me having sex, because I just had this programming so deep in like my subconscious that, that like to enjoy yourself that like i couldn't like mm -hmm. it was fun it felt good but like no, there was i didn't even know in. that there was an end for me mm -hmm. i just thought that it was for men because that's what i oh the engineering I, of the whole situation yeah like i had no idea that, that was even an option well, at least you had fun yeah i was like i mean yeah it's good but guys would be like what's good i'm like this it's great and you they're like, like no no <laughs> so why i can't tell yeah they're like why are you not and i'm like Cause you know I'm ready to get out of here as soon as you are. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like you know the, these like past beliefs that are like pushed down. And oh, what I was saying about the body count thing—it's like you know when you're in high school and stuff like like you're saying people change or people don't. But like if you're in high school and you're running amok and you literally caught twenty bodies between your like sophomore year and senior year, it's like d ain't sure left to do but get that? married. I mean, you know, but see, it's it, like people change and then but it's see, like, the but thing they in don't. high school. And this is, see, this is what I be telling women. And first of all, y'all lie to each other all the time. Second of all, the girl at the high school table telling all of y'all sucking dick is the worst shit in the world. Suck everybody on the block of the football team already. And she just wants prime real estate. Well, sometimes, and that's the other thing. That's like, how do you times. know? Like some people, you can we just be lie. Knowing. We girls, be knowing. Girls and guys could just lie. Mm-hmm. Like, and then it's like, if you're fucking I'll, with someone and they're telling you like, oh, I only have three bodies and you're like, well, my homeboy said that they fucked you and there's five of them. And the girl's like, well, I didn't. I so now that, what do you believe? I learned that lying on your dick was corny around 13. I think I tried it at 12. I probably did it once. <laughs> like I'm dead serious. Like I lost my virginity at 12. On one crazy. night staying out of state. I was in Connecticut. You lost your virginity at 12? Yeah, how do you have a one wild. night stand in Connecticut at twelve years old? Connecticut is such a weird. Why were you in Connecticut? 